Uh, so I want you to introduce you to Andreas uh, Mueller. He is uh, an associate research scientist at Columbia University of uh, Data Science Institute. And also he has written a book on machine learning. You should read that book if you don't know about machine learning. It's an excellent book that you should read if you want to learn the basics of machine learning. And he has been a core contributor for Scikit-Learn, which is a library that is open source and helps scientists build models and research. So he can tell you more about it, but he's going to present something related to that, I think. But uh, give an applause, please, to Andreas. All right, thank you. Does this work? Yeah. All right, so um, thank you for the introduction, and uh, thanks for uh, having me here. So this talk will be quite a bit more technical than the other talks we heard about uh, this morning or today so far. Um, this is about a new project I'm working on called Dabble. Um, in a sense, I think it integrates actually quite well with what people have been talking about today because um, this project is about making machine learning even more accessible. Um, so allowing more and more people to use machine learning more easily and also drawing attention in, um, away a little bit from the technical issues more towards the broader issues of um, where to use uh, machine learning and how to integrate it into bigger systems. So um, here's sort of a brief overview of how I think about the machine learning workflow. Um, so using AI or machine learning always starts with um, data collection after this usually comes some data ingestion or data cleaning, um, visualization and exploratory analysis, then uh, building initial machine learning models, um, trying to evaluate and understand the models you built, and finally integrating them into your actual application, uh, into your actual production system or doing your science. And so each of these steps usually loops back to all the previous steps. So I draw this here as a cycle, but actually after each step, you might go back to a previous step. So after data cleaning or visualization, you might find that something is wrong with your data collection. So you go back, change how you collect the data. Um, after you build the model, you find out maybe your data cleaning didn't go right and you go back to that and so on. And so, um, a lot of data scientists and uh, machine learning researchers really try to focus on the model building part here and spend a lot of time like tuning models and getting the last bit out of them. Whereas uh, people that apply machine in learning and data science in the real world often focus more on these parts here, data collection and integration and ev uh, evaluation within the process. And I think these two are really the uh, most critical parts in data science applications. And so um, this project is about enabling people to prototype machine learning and um, AI solutions to go through the cycle more quickly and to arrive at the really important problems of um, building early prototypes making, and making sure that these prototypes make sense within the um, particular application you have that they integrate well into your workflow and that they have actually positive impact on whatever you're working on. So right now, a lot of these steps are um, quite laborious. So um, as Omar said, I work on scikit-learn and so I work in the uh, Python ecosystem for data science and machine learning. If you get a CSV file with some data set and you want to visualize it. So this is sort of the easiest way how to um, do some basic visualization with Python right now. Uh, honestly, I could not come up with this uh, like um, from a memory. I would probably have to go through the Seaborn documentation a couple of times and the Pandas documentation to come up with this. And so this is actually like a little bit tricky to do. And if you start doing initial model building, this is sort of if you want to build a logistic regression model on some uh, uh, general data set, this is sort of the scikit-learn code you have to write to really build a logistic regression model. And um, it's nice to be very explicit if you want to do build production system, which is what scikit-learn is for. But really, often you want to iterate quickly to uh, figure out 
how will a system work in a given context? And so writing all of these lines uh, just to get an initial model is quite uh, a lot of work. And so I really want to um, improve this process. And so uh, the note that I propose is DABL, which stands for Data Analysis Baseline Library. So this is a Python library of tools that um, is trying to enable you to do machine learning and supervised machine learning more quickly and uh, iterate more quickly on your ideas and try to understand how um, your models work in the context of your application. So coming back to this machine learning data science workflow, it tries to give you initial solutions um, to most of these steps. So there's a function called double.clean, which will data, do data cleaning for you. There's a function called double.plot that will do a lot of visualization automatically for you. For model building, there's a single class that's called any classifier that will do basically automatic model selection for you. And for model interpretation, there's um, double.explain, which again is a single function that gives you a lot of uh, detail about the models you built. And I'm gonna talk through all of the mm, in a little bit. And so these really help you um, are you to focus on the things like the evaluation, the context, which is where things that cannot be automated, which is uh, where you have to think about what will deploying this solution actually um, mean. And this is where you think about things like uh, fairness and uh, access and, and um, biases in the data, think topics that we talked about quite a lot today. And so, the goal is to give you initial solutions to all of the other sort of uh, technical problems so that you can focus more on um, the actual application. And so I wanna briefly talk through uh, what these different functions do. Um, so um, that for data cleaning and pre-processing, there's a single function. So all of this library works on uh, pandas data frames. Um, if you do data science in Python, you might be familiar with those. It's sort of just a standard table of data. Um, the clean function will detect what are the types of data, what uh, are missing and rare values, will detect ordinal variables, near constant values, detect indices, detect which uh, features are useful and which are not. And I'll give you some information about what was detected. Um, one thing that I think is really important that often um, is not paid enough attention to is visualization. Visualization allows you to understand um, the basic properties of your data, the basic trends. And so um, Dabble has this function called plot. So here I'm reading like a data set. This is a sort of a toy data set that people in machine learning like to use uh, using US census data set. And so given this data set, the plot function just takes um, the table of the data and um, the target column, so this is for uh, prediction problems for classification or regression, and then it automatically finds out what are the most interesting plots to show for this data set and then shows them. So here you can see it does like a distribution of the target, this is a binary classification problem, so it shows you um, for one income bracket and the other income bracket how frequent they are, it shows you for continuous variables, uh, histograms and pair plots, and shows you the categorical variables in the mosaic plots that are most interesting. Um, and so it automatically determines what are interesting variables to look at, and it does all of this um, automatically. And so if you don't take anything else away from this talk, uh, please try out uh, the single line of code that hopefully gives you a lot more insight into your data. Um, some other things it does, it looks at uh, combinations of features and shows, uh, tries to surface those that have infer interesting structures. So again, even if you have hundreds of variables, it will show you two-dimensional predictions that are interesting. It does things like principal component analysis and um, something that I really like, it, which is called linear discriminant analysis. This very often can give you very interesting low-dimensional views of high-dimensional data sets, um, though it's not, unfortunately not used as much as it should be. And so plot will uh, select among all of these plots and show the ones that are most relevant for your task. Um, for pre-processing, there's um, a single class called Easy Preprocessor. So this is um, similar to the framework that Scikit-Learn provides, only this 
um, encompasses all of the spoiler plate that I showed before. So you give it some um, uh, data and it will automatically assemble all the steps that are required for pre-processing and it will return something that works well with the rest of the scientific Python ecosystem. So it will return something like a scikit-learn model that uh, does all the pre-processing for you. Um, then the next step usually is building some quick initial model. So whenever I get any data set, I usually start with models that are very fast to build and that are very uh, easy to understand. And so there's something uh, in Dabble called simple classifier and simple regressor for classification regression problems. And we'll basically try out all of the standard models that are, um, that work instantaneously, that's like naive base models, small tree models, logistic regression models, and so on. And it will give you um, information about which are the best of these, and um, then show you sort of, for this data set, for example, it found a logistic regression model and gives you different kinds of metrics that show you um, how well this model works. And this already gives you uh, a prototype. So actually this uh, model does all the pre-processing internally automatically, so this single line here should be enough to build an initial model for most applications. I recommend before doing this, you should also look at your data, so you also need the other line that plots the data before you do anything with it. Um, if you want to build more complex models, this is, as I said, usually not even the crooks of many machine learning problems. Usually the data collection and understanding the problem is much more difficult than tuning the model. But if you really want to spend more time tuning the model, there's some automatic machine learning uh, in Dabble. Um, it's implemented in a class called AnyClassifier. And this does some, in a sense, very simple, but also state-of-the-art automatic machine learning. It does, um, so you, again, you can just feed it a data set um, here as uh, some data frame and tell it what the target column is, and we'll do automatic machine learning, so automatically search for a model that generalizes well on this data set. And it does this, oh, and once you've done this, um, there's a function called explain, and explain will give you a lot of tools for um, model interpretability. It will give you different kinds of metrics and um, different uh, feature importance measures. Oh yeah, this, uh, can I go back now? This explain works for models in Dabble, but it also works for any other machine learning model you can ha have in Python that has a cycle learning interface. So um, you can just give it any model and we'll spit out all kinds of interesting metrics like precision recall, confusion matrix, AOC scores, um, whatever you want. Uh, feature importances, permutation importances, um, partial dependence plots, these are all the kind of things that people would look at to debug a model. And you can get, again, you can get all of these by running a sing, uh, single line that's explained. So if you want to try this out, um, you can install this uh, with pip install dabble. Um, there's the website link if you um, look, want to look at the documentation, um, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, Uma already mentioned my book. So, uh, if you're interested in learning more about machine learning, and in like, I think 50 minutes at half past, I will be do running a two hour workshop uh, in the other room, giving an introduction to machine learning. In that workshop, we'll not be talking about Dabble, we'll be talking about uh, using Pandas and Scikit-Learn to do machine learning. All right. Um, so that's it for me. Thanks.